Hello, in this tutorial we are looking into NVivo 12 and how to make a start if you're quite new to the software. So once you've got the software loaded onto your screen, then what you should see is this window, which is the interface of NVivo. Um, on the left hand side, this is where everything happens. This is where you will choose your options to do whatever you want to do. Now, the very first icon is the quick access, which is a new feature whereby you can drag and drop and select what are your most popular features that you would like to use uh, regularly. But if we close that, then these are the standard options. Um, to make a start, most of the time, we will want to put our data into the software. And this will all come underneath the data option. And more precisely, it is the files option. Now, to put files into NVivo, we use the import tab, which is located at the top. And you will see that there is a range of options, um, including external softwares, which are compatible with NVivo. Um, the one which we will most likely to use is the files um, icon. And if we click on it, we can select uh, the various folders, which are the various files which we think will be useful in our project. Now once you've imported the data, um, they will appear under the files option. And if you double click on any of your files, then it should look like what it used to look like in the original format. Now one newest one newer feature of the uh, the 12th version uh, is the added options when you edit the actual file. So once you click to edit or use the tab that was here, um, you will notice that you have this whole range of options, which looks remarkably similar to Microsoft Word. And this is where we can actually change the size, the shape, the colors of your actual text. So um, if you wish to play around with that, that's absolutely fine. Now, apart from importing the data into your uh, MVVO database, the other popular thing that one might consider is to make use of the notes option, particularly the memos. Now, memos are actually very similar to uh, files, the only difference being memos created within the actual database. Now, you can create fresh memos by just right clicking on the blank screen and click on new memo. And you might want to just put down today's date and give yourself some space to type down your reflections. However, most people uh, will probably want to create memos uh, in relation to their particular data. And to do that, you just have to right click on the actual transcript or the data, go to the middle bottom memo link and click link to new memo. Now, this is a space where you can create a new memo and also link it to the actual source, the file, at the same time. And what should happen is that the Amnest memo would have been created uh, and that is already linked to the file for Anna. A memo is a space where you want to um, include additional information about your data which might not be captured on your original data. Uh, maybe it wasn't recorded or maybe you just want to add some additional insights which you know about Anna, for example. And might be um, quite nervous at the beginning of the interview. And then obviously after some chat, then she got quite comfortable and she shared some uh, really interesting data. Now, memo is also useful if you would like to say additional stuff. Now, sometimes in research, when you switch on and off your recording device, um, people might be more open when you actually switch it off. Uh, and those are the type of field notes which you might want to capture but they're not really on your recording device so it, may, it might not appear on your transcript uh, so you could add in so you might want to add in stuff which was said afterwards uh, which could contribute to your overall impressions about Anna so when you close Anna's memo what you should see is a little icon that appears next to Anna's file um, if you put your mouse cursor on you will see what it means but basically, if you right click and click on memo link again, now the options are open link memo or delete the actual link. If you choose the first option and open link memo, you will basically open up the actual memo we just created. 
And this is quite useful if you have a lot of different files, maybe in excess of 50 or 100, and rather than going to the memo uh, folder, which is where it's located and it's memo, you can easily just pick out the notes you've got for that particular individual by using the right click and memo link. Now, in addition to a memo, uh, one might also consider annotations, which are basically comment boxes that you can make while you're reading your actual transcripts. Now, imagine I'm reading, you know, for the first, for the first time, uh, Anna's response to question one, and I noticed that she talks about netball and yoga. And I recall a reading that I did somewhere which praises people who do yoga and how that makes a positive impact on their uh, sporting abilities. And if that's what you want to make a note of, then what you should do is to highlight the actual text and then right click on your mouse and then click on new annotation near the top. And that will activate the annotation option whereby you can just make a comment. So you might want to say, read Smith's article about yoga. And you can do that uh, infinite amount of times while you're skimming through your transcript. And sometimes it might not be a natural article. You might think, ah, I just did an interview yesterday um, on Bernie. You might just record to yourself that Bernie also said something similar. So it could be about anything. and. The interesting thing about annotation, if we just make it slightly bigger, is that when you click on the item one and two, it will take you straight to uh, the location of where the highlighted text was. And the other thing, however, is that when you make a lot of annotations, what you can see on the text becomes a bit smaller. So under the Documents tab, which is basically the, 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 the options available for Anna, you will see that there's an annotations um, checkbox here, whereby if you uncheck it, then you can see more stuff. So that's some opening options which you can use with MVVO.